all our players are really good. Uh, we all have like really good uh, mechanics and pretty good understanding of the game. But I think the main issue was like there's so many ways to play the game, and all all of those ways are right way, and we just needed like a voice to like make it together. Mm -hmm. And I think we're still like it's not like I came in and I fixed all the problem like magically. I think we're still improving on it like in in game and out of game how to communicate to each other and like. This is Zento from Esports Heaven, and I have here with me Huhi from Golden Guardians. Uh, and you just beat CLG in what was kind of a stunning game because you played Zig's bot lane. <laughs> and you've also played Set uh, bot lane as well, too, I guess, uh, yeah. in support positions, both. Uh, so I just want to first start off with saying, like, is is this the reason why you have been brought in instead of Keith? Because your champion pool is is kind of weird and strange and <laughs> peculiar? Um, I mean, I don't think that's the reason why I, I was brought in. I think, um, yeah, I mean, like, with those two champions, I just thought it was, like, really strong in certain situations. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I think so far it's been working out pretty well. And uh, my team has uh, confidence in my picks, too. So... I also have confidence on myself, and I think uh, that's why we can perform uh, with those champions on stage as well. So uh, there was a play at the Rift Herald, basically when it spawned, uh, and you guys had constant push in the bot lane. And now this Ziggs pick was already played in LEC, uh, but as the bot laner, not as a support. Uh, so do you think Zig support will be meta? Um, I mean, I don't think it will be a meta. I think it can always be like a pocket pick for anyone uh, mm -hmm. when uh, it has a good matchup. For example, I think Tom Ketch is a pretty good matchup uh, that I can play Zix into. Um, so I think as long as like people figure out those kinds of like matchups, they can always like bring it up as a pocket pick. But I don't really see it being like the meta pick. Okay, uh, because I, I found it strange and I think a lot of people found it strange that not just the Ziggs pick, but a mage pick uh, being in the support position uh, because stone plate supports are just thought to be the best right now. So what are your thoughts on countering stone plate? Um, yeah, I think a lot of stone plate supports are really good right now just because all of them can have uh, kind of an engaged tool uh, such as like Nautilus, um, Thresh, Leona. They all have like a source of engage and the hard CC. Uh, and I think that's why it's a meta, and it's just so hard to kill them, even though they're a support. Yeah. Um, I think that's why, like, it, it is kind of hard to like have a counter pick uh, to counter pick range support into that because uh, mm -hmm. even though you counter pick a range support, it doesn't really guarantee you you're gonna win the lane because it has a hard CC. You can easily get ganked, and it, like you cannot play the lane anymore after that. Yeah. But yeah, I think that's why like. Whenever people don't play those kind of champions, there is a room to play range support. And I think that's why like in other regions, you can kind of see like range support slowly coming out. Uh, even yesterday in LCK, they like first one to uh, Lulu as a support mm -hmm. and they just picked it. I think it's just like people have different mindset and uh, the view of the game, I guess. Yeah. Okay, uh, I don't want you to reveal all your cards, <laughs> you know, uh, but this is going to kind of be something spicy that you guys, uh, you know, if you enter into playoffs, I know the race is very close right now, but it's kind of a wrench thrown in everyone's plans of that. Oh, we figured out Golden Guardians. No, you didn't. Uh, so <laughs> lastly, um, how is the shot calling situation going off, uh, you know, within Golden Guardians? Because I assume you have... A significant role in this given your veterancy mm, yeah i think um all our players are really good uh we all have like really good uh mechanics and pretty good understanding of the game but i think the main issue was like there's so many ways to play the game and all all of those ways are right way and we just needed like a voice to like make it together mm -hmm. and i think we're still like it's not like i came in and i fixed all the problems like magically i think we're still improving on it like in in game and out of game how to communicate to each other and like how we should play the game as a team and uh so far like yeah like 
it is not the best, but I, I think I can definitely say we're improving a lot and uh, we're pretty excited for the future. Mm -hmm. And you had mentioned that uh, you guys are together now in the team house. Uh, do you think you have like this mental advantage when it comes to that? Because I know some teams are just having their players play in their own apartments or, or whatever. Uh, so do you guys think you have maybe a mental edge up in this case? Um, I definitely do think like being together uh, gives us like a niche. Um, mm -hmm. And just to clarify, like we're not in a team house. We're still like we're in an office area, mm. which we literally live like across the street. Um, and I think everyone just came in the office because we realized that like playing on office uh, as a team just makes us perform better, like mm -hmm. everyone. And it just puts us in a better mindset. So. I think everyone just took the sacrifice and came in. So. Okay. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to Sunday's games. You guys are in a very tight race. So best of luck tomorrow. Uh, this has been Azento from Esports Heaven and Huhi from Golden Guardians. Thank you. Thank you so much.